Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, today we are kicking off the celebrations for European Cooperation Day 2013. This will be a day to get out and meet your neighbors at one of the events showcasing results and bringing Europeans closer together. Last year, during the first European Cooperation Day, more than 280 events were held in almost 40 countries, bringing together stakeholders all over Europe. Quite an achievement. That's why I'm delighted to help launch this year's European Cooperation Day. I'm really pleased that friends from the European Parliament are joining in the celebrations. In particular, I would like to thank Marie-Therese Sanchez-Schmidt for her active support over the years. This is an opportunity for all of us to celebrate the achievements of more than 20 years of territorial cooperation in Europe. ETC helps ensure that borders are not barriers, facilitating the sharing of ideas and bringing Europeans closer together. No other field has so many successful projects illustrating the added value of the European Union. As a result of regional policy investment, there are today some fantastic examples of cross-border cooperation. Emergency services such as the fire brigade boat on the Rhine or the shared hospital located directly at the French-Spanish border, to name but two. Other programs operate on a transnational basis, sizing common opportunities or tackling common challenges. And a few operate at European Union level, fostering exchanges of experience in areas like urban development or special planning. And the newest addition is, of course, the macro-regional strategies, pioneering new ways to cooperate for a strategic deployment of funds. This is what it's all about, finding solutions to common problems and in bringing down barriers and bringing people together. The ETC is one of the main pillars of European integration. This year's motto, sharing borders, growing closer, captures very accurately the essence of territorial cooperation. As we work together to tackle the economic crisis, there is no better time to think across borders so that together we can foster growth and jobs and boost recovery. Dear friends, right now we are working hard preparing for the next programming period. The negotiations are coming to an end, but I am pleased that the political agreement on ETC has already been reached. And I am very glad that we managed to maintain European territorial cooperation as one of the two goals of cohesion policy. We have already achieved a great deal, but more can be done to get the best out of territorial cooperation. We must manage programs even more efficiently and effectively. That is why in the new period we will be focused on results, with a greater thematic focus linked to the Europe 2020 strategy. Clearly, the European Commission would have liked to have seen a significant increase in the funding available for territorial cooperation. because. No activity does more to strengthen understanding of what the EU is for. But even with the funds likely to be available in the next period, I am sure that we can continue to do really important work that our citizens can see and feel the benefit. Dear friends, whether cross-border, transnational, interregional or macro-regional, our cooperation activities are part of the added value that the European Union brings. Thank you for being part of this annual event and spreading the message that cooperation is our core business, a central part of European Union regional policy. I'm sorry not to be with you today, but I will be holding my own Twitter chat on the 19th of September on ETC and I hope very much that you will join me then.